The court is unanimous in accepting that the assurances given by the Rwandan government were made in good faith and were intended to address any defects in the asylum process. However, the majority believes that the evidence does not establish that the necessary changes had by then been reliably effected or would have been at the time of the proposed removals. In consequence, sending anyone to Rwanda would constitute a breach of Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights, which Parliament has required the government uh, to comply with. In agreement with the High Court, I have reached the opposite conclusion. I agree that the procedures put in place under the Rwandan agreement and the assurances given by the Rwandan government are sufficient to ensure that there is no real risk that asylum seekers relocated under the Rwandan policy will be wrongly returned to countries where they fa face persecution or other inhumane treatment. I have concluded that the chances of failed asylum seekers being returned to their countries of origin are in any event low, not least because Rwanda has no agreements in place with any of the countries in question. In addition, extensive monitoring arrangements, formal and informal, of all those sent to Rwanda and of their asylum claims once there, provide powerful protection.